Many workers who are still on the job are wondering about their employment rights during the pandemic. What if you work in an essential business, for example, and you don't feel safe on the job? Can you legally be asked to stay home? There are specifications that you need to know. Employment lawyers say it's not that simple. Alex Lucifero joining us this morning. He is a, a partner with Samfuru to Markin LLP. Good morning, Alex. Thanks for your time. Morning. There's a number of boxes you have to check off, right? Because I remember the premier said, don't worry, your job is safe, but it's not that simple. Yeah, and I have to say, Leslie, I do appreciate the premier's uh, concern. I think he's right to be concerned for employee safety uh, in the workplace. And sometimes the message does have to be that blunt and that forceful. However, I wouldn't necessarily take that advice uh, as legal advice. Ultimately, as you mentioned, it's the wrong advice. There are you know, actually quite simple but very specific procedures in place for refusing to either attend work or refusing work in the workplace. You have to first, as an employee, bring those concerns to a supervisor or management's attention. Uh, if the matter is solved, work goes on. If the matter is not solved, you then have to inform and contact the Ministry of Labor, who then has to investigate the matter and, again, resolve the situation. And so without those steps, simply showing up or not showing up to work, uh, rather, is, is a dangerous proposition for an employee. It could land that employee uh, in hot water. I'm going to think, give the example of a grocery clerk who is now, they've taken the measures, they've got the plexiglass up there, there's tape on the floor, people are following the rules and so on. What do they need to know? Because to me, I would say, I'm a little worried because of all the people that are coming in here. Is that enough that I can leave and still get paid or what? Yeah, so I think the first thing that employees need to know, uh, Leslie, is that uh, they do have the right uh, to be healthy and safe in the workplace. They do not have to put up with a boss forcing them into close quarters, forcing them into close contact uh, with uh, either clients or other employees. That's extremely employ important. Employees need to know that and need to feel safe in the workplace. Uh, now, again, as I mentioned, there is proper procedures if you don't feel that you're safe in the workplace and you have to enact those measures if you're not feeling it. Um, the other thing you can obviously do uh, and is an option in these kinds of situations is speak with an employment lawyer. Uh, you need to know what your options are in a situation like this, what your rights are in a situation like this. We are here, here to help employees in that respect and employers as well for that matter. This is about communication. So both employers and employees need to know what their rights and obligations are. They also need to know uh, that they are there for one another and they cannot succeed. An employee cannot earn income and an employer cannot make profit without the other's efforts. Let me ask you if, if there's a personal story an attachment as well. So we've got two cases, same job. One is a single woman, the other is a, a single mom who takes care of her mother. So she's the sandwich generation. Is their case stronger to walk away than the single woman? Well, obviously that, uh, that single mother may very well have childcare obligations at home, uh, right? And if there's no one else there to care for her children, and there may be very well be other options, there, you know, daycare options or even home care options with family members, uh, then uh, you know, that single mother would have to work and would have to continue working. But if there's really no other choice for that person, uh, you know, mother or father, or, you know, parent, uh, regardless of the sex, if there's really no other choice but to stay home and care for your children, then that person is allowed to take a leave or potentially even allowed to work from home which is another great solution if that's possible in the workplace. And an employer cannot punish that employee for those reasons. An employee cannot be punished for being obligated to care for their children. That is what we call discrimination on the basis of, a fam of family status. An employer cannot treat an employee differently for that reason. It's very, very dangerous and it's a human rights violation. I have one quick question here. We're out of time, but uh, healthcare sector, so many people who are so dedicated showing up for work, do they have to? specifically that sector? Yeah, it's obviously very, very difficult, and credit to those employees for showing up day in and day out and de dealing with being the front line uh, for, for this pandemic. Uh, there, there is, you know, an obligation, and there's a, a level of risk that you accept uh, as a frontline healthcare professional that comes with the job, so to speak. Now, that said, again, those, those employees have protections as well, be it protect, protective gear, uh, be it, you know, uh, cleanliness in the workplace, and those measures are important as well. Again, I, I think the message to stay home is the wrong uh, message. There are other procedures and methods that can be put in place to protect employees in a situation like that. That's true across the board. Alex Lucifero, partner at Samfuru to Mark and LLP. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your expertise. Thanks for having me, Leslie.